This new exoskeleton device has been designed to prevent people developing low back pain and to help those who already have problems to return to work. We're here in Slovenia to see how it was developed and tested out in a real-life factory. It may look a little strange and bulky, but this new prototype from an EU research project called Spexor could save you from developing low back pain. So this is a wearable robot, a spinal exoskeleton. It's attached on the human body here on the thighs, on the pelvis and on the back. It has a joint here in the hip. It has this self-aligning mechanism and a spinal module that bends together with the, with the wearer and takes the load from the spine. The carbon fibre rods on the rear give a supportive lift, taking the strain off your back, while the springs on the thighs give a small push on the legs. The 6.3 kilo suit is passive while the wearer is walking and only activates when you need it. It's basically knowing what you're doing, it knows what you were doing and then it predicts based on the probability, it predicts what you will do next. These researchers study how humans bend their backs using body sensors that buzz when you lift something incorrectly. They use this system to teach people how to move better and argue an exoskeleton does have an important role to play to prevent problems. Getting the right techniques of everyday motions uh, is the right way to go in addition with um, making muscles stronger and acting properly. But uh, sometimes we kind of avoid those um, um, detrimental forces and this is where other solutions like ex external support come in. So much for the theory, what about the practice? The researchers have come to test their system at engineering company Hydria. Its 2,000 employees produce components for the automotive sector. The exoskeleton transfers force from the workers' back to their legs, giving them a boost. So what do they think? It pushes here on the lumbar, here at the sides. It moves in an elastic way. The feeling is really nice. As long as it will reduce my pain on the back, my legs, my arms, I'll be happy any way I can. Watching the exoskeleton in action in a factory environment confirms the scientist's suspicion that this prototype is too wide and bulky. We are already working on a design where these motors will be on the back side so they won't obstruct the motion of the, of the wearer. With a more ergonomic design, the researchers believe their exoskeleton can make a difference, although they believe their biggest challenge will be convincing workers without back pain to wear it. If you're not treating a disease, if you're just preventing it, then it's very difficult to, uh, for the wearer to accept this technology. Usually it, uh, it feels like a burden uh, before you have a problem. Once you have a problem, then you would like to, to cure it. But then it's too late for low back pain. The next step, another partner in this EU project aims to turn this initial design into a commercially viable product that everyone could wear.